The INPOWER 150 trial was a very important trial evaluating the role of immunotherapy in untreated patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. And we had a particular question, and the question was whether we can add an immunotherapy to a combination of chemotherapy and anti-angiogenic treatment and do see an improvement of efficacy and do see uh, manageable tolerability. So this was a really large trial, more than 1,000 patients were recruited to the trial and in principle we were comparing a four drug regimen, chemotherapy, carboplatin, paclitaxel, bevacizumab and the immunotherapy of atezolizumab to the backbone which was the chemotherapy and bevacizumab. The synergy between artesolizumab and the anti-angiogenic treatment with bevacizumab is very interesting and we do have a couple of preclinical data suggesting that there might be an enhancement of the activity of the immunotherapy. And indeed, we had three co-primary endpoints, progression-free survival in two groups of patients and overall survival in the intent to treat populations in patients without oncogenic alterations and in all of these three endpoints, we did see a significant improvement of efficacy favoring the combination of artesolizumab, chemotherapy, and bevacizumab. Something which is very interesting is the fact that certain subgroups were included in the Impower 150. First, patients with pretreated oncogenic alterations like EGF receptor mutations or ALK translocations were included. And this is the only trial so far because normally we do not believe that immunotherapy does work in this group of patients with oncogenic alterations. We did observe a significant improvement in progression-free survival and overall survival also in this subgroup of patients with pretreated oncogenic alterations for overall survival and progression-free survival for the combination of immunotherapy, bevacizumab, and chemotherapy. And this is of clinical interest, in particular for patients where we do not have a T790M mutation after resistance, where we are really seeking for effective treatment opportunities. And the second subgroup was the group of patients with liver metastasis, and these are patients with a very unfavorable prognosis. And also in this subgroup, we did observe a substantial and clinically meaningful improvement of efficacy favoring the combination of immunotherapy, uh, anti-angiogenic treatment, and chemotherapy. So overall, this is a very interesting, a very important trial, and we will learn a lot of these results coming out of the Impower 150.